Yo, what is up guys? I'm bringing you a brand new video and this time we're talking about Lofi Bed Mountain's upgraded compass. This video is going to focus on showing you the most optimal rotations in order to have the best chance at getting this compass, as well as give you some time expectations on how long it's going to take to get based on the types of drop rate bonuses you have available to you. Now this is a pretty rare item. It's actually been revealed that there's only 2,800 in all of existence throughout the entire world, and that was re revealed by Pearl Abyss at the Hydel Ball earlier this year, and that means that it is a damn rare item, and for good reason. It requires you to have three different compass piece drops from three different mobs. Two of them are in Histria, the Vodkin, and the Elton piece, which can also be dropped by a Bolton as well as the Aukman Elite Guardian piece. And they have varying differences in terms of how long each of those pieces are going to take, but on an average, I'll be able to show you exactly how long it's going to take for someone who has average luck. Now, the reason that this is such a rare item is in the world of BDO, it's pretty uncommon to have sort of fast travel methods in the game. And the reason for that is... It sort of breaks the immersion that Prolobus was going for, so having teleportation items is a very, very exclusive thing in the game for endgame players. So, what does this compass actually do? Well, it allows you to teleport up to four party members directly to your location uh, from anywhere in the world. So they can be anywhere throughout BDO and you can teleport them to your location. It doesn't really matter if you're in the desert, it doesn't matter if you're in the sea. As long as the character is idle, they will be able to take a teleport from you. And what this means is, if you have 20 character slots available to you, and you have all 20 characters in one location, that means that you're going to be able to transfer that compass from one character to another, teleporting four party members at a time, which means essentially you could teleport up to 100 people to your location in a very short period of time in the optimal circumstances. The compass does have a 10 hour cooldown per character, which means that you will have to wait 10 hours before you can teleport another 100 players if that's how you please. Alternatively, you can place your characters in optimal locations, such as in Histria or in Sakraya, you know, more of the more difficult places to get to in order to allow your guildmates or your friends to get to those locations easier. I personally think that this compass is going to be super useful in the future when they start updating Port Rat and giving us more things to do over there because traveling the ocean is a very time-consuming task, and the compass makes that travel instant. Now, those are sort of benefits for the person that um, does not own the compass. That's for your friend to, to reap the benefits of. You can't use your own compass to teleport somewhere else. However, if you do have the compass on you, it does allow you to see in the desert permanently as a permanent compass, and it also allows you to see in the great ocean without any restrictions as well. So it really is sort of just a flex item that is super useful for your friends and your guildies, a little less useful for you, but there are a lot of things like if you are having a GVG or if you're trying to protect your grind spot and you need some backup, it's really nice to have in terms of, you know, being able to teleport players directly to your location. And I know the 10 hour cooldown sounds long, but to be honest, it's not really um, that much of an issue when you place a few characters in the location that you usually grind in. So the rotation that we've been doing in this video is called Five Elton, and I definitely recommend this rotation in order to try to get the compass piece. If you were to grind here without any buffs at all, it would take you about 909 hours in order to get an Elton and about 125 before your first Vodkin. And that does seem like a long time. However, if you were to do a rotation such as Calquish rotation, it's going to take you upwards of 1428 hours on average, just due to the lower population of Eltons and Boltons per pack. In this rotation, you will be getting an Elton or a Balton killed in every single pack, which gives you a chance at the rarest piece every single pack. 
If you were to do a rotation such as 7 Elton, which is the second best, that one would take you approximately 1150 hours on average. And so it really just benefits you a lot to be doing 5 Elton at all times, if possible. If you are to have every single buff in the game, that means that you're going to be able to get the Elton piece in as little as 225 hours on 5 Elton. And this is going to include everything that is listed on the screen here. So you are going to have to be a castle holder and have the 50% tent buff. I don't necessarily recommend the 50% tent buff because it does kill the profits that you make while in Histria. However, you can shave off around 50 odd hours uh, from your time to get the piece if you do have it active. Now, moving on to the Auckman Temple. Now, Auckman pretty much only has one rotation that is worth it in order to get the piece, and that rotation is called Elite Rotation. And the rotation can be found directly across from the vendor, and essentially, you are expected to get this compass piece very, very quickly. You'll notice that if you have no buffs, it's only going to take about 50 hours, so quite a lot less time compared to Histria. And with all buffs, it can take as little as 13 hours. Now, because of this fact, and, you know, Auckman being much easier than Histria, a lot of players choose to spend most of their time in Histria, and they don't even bother going to Auckman until they get that Elton piece. And once they get the Elton... They will then go to Auckman for a short time, and that's essentially all you need to combine the compass. If you do other rotations such as the water room in Auckman, you're expected to take around 19 hours with all the buffs active, or around 75 without. So you can still shave a lot of time off of your adventures in Auckman by going straight to elite rotation. In order to get the compass, you will need all three unique pieces. Duplicates do not count. And if you get a piece and you're unsure what mob dropped it, you can always travel over to Ain Greld over here, and he will identify the pieces for you so that you can make sure you have two different pieces rather than two of the same. Alternatively, and what I do recommend, is by going into your settings and in your alerts, making sure that you have others loot slash dream horse enabled, which means that when you get the drop and you cheer for it, it'll actually show at the very top of your screen up here what mob ended up dropping the piece, and you'll just have to keep note of which one it is. So the last thing that I wanted to mention is that I created a Google document, and the link is in the description. It will allow you to input what buffs you have. There's just little check marks. You can check what you do and do not have in terms of drop rate, and that will automatically populate the spreadsheet to show you how much time it's going to take for you on average based on your buffs for both Histria and Auckman. Because I know that not all players are going to have the same drop rate bonuses. Some people might not have a tent and some people might, might not have Valencia Castle. So this will allow you to tailor it and give you sort of an expectation as to how long it's going to take. Other than that, guys, I hope that you enjoyed this guide and good luck on your compass hunt. Peace.